Hey, I'm Jim, and I'm back with another segment for NDI November. This time, I am being joined on today's show by Chris Reed from TFS Broadcast. Hey, Chris, how are you? I'm great, Jim. Thanks for having me today. Before we get into this great case study that you have in the NDI production world, why don't we take an opportunity for you to introduce yourself and TFS Broadcast to our audience tuning in today? Well, basically, I'm Chris Reed, president with TFS Broadcasts. Um, we're a, I call us a boutique systems integrator, broadcast systems integrator based in Arkansas. And we specialize in design and installation of broadcast facilities, live streaming systems, uh, pretty much that everything that falls under that, uh, you know, category. Woo pig. Yeah. Woo pig. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I knew I had to put that into the show today. Uh, Chris, Chris and I met talking about the University of Arkansas and some of the great work that you're doing there in Arkansas. And I invited Chris to join us on today's show to talk about a recent project that TFS Broadcast did where they created a centralized control room for the Lakeville School District that is connecting a multi-venue live sports environment all with an NDI production system and a control room that TFS Broadcast was actually very integral in not only configuring, but building that control room. Chris, can you tell us a little bit about this project with the Lakeside School District? Yeah, so basically, you know, Lakeside came to us. Um, they've, they've been a long time client. They came to us and they were working on a project at their football stadium to install a new video board, scoreboard. And basically they had the idea that, they would like to build a centralized control room. They wanted to know, can we build one control room to run our broadcasts from all of our main live sports venues? The other, you know, requirement was they want that control room to be able to produce multiple broadcasts at once. So sure. based off of the, that information, we, you know, went to the drawing board. They showed us the room, as you see there in the photo that we were going to put, you know, the system in. So we, you know, from scratch, we basically designed the room, did the layout, um, and then also designed the system with the interconnect, um, you know, to, to, to make sure that they can, uh, have the connectivity required to, to all the venues with video, audio, intercom network, you know, everything that you need to do a, a live production. And you gave us a great picture of some of that equipment, too. Uh, Chris, can you tell us about some of the equipment that you set up there in that control room? Yeah, so basically, you know, the, the main backbone of this system is the Netgear AV line, the M4250 series, uh, you know, infrastructure. So, you know, basically, you know, to do a centralized control room cost effective, that was one of the challenges here um, is, you know, to do everything over IP and in NDI is critical in that to allow you to do a cost effective IP infrastructure. Um, so basically using the Netgear AV line product, uh, we also use the Kiloview uh, rack mount uh, converter frames, which allows us to encode and decode NDI signals to and from each venue and then also uh, various other parts and pieces so that we can send uh, audio over Dante, intercom over Dante, um, things like that. So the, the, the main production switching happens with TriCaster TC1. The control room consists of two uh, TriCaster TC1 systems. So that gives them kind of going back to the ability to produce multiple productions at once so they can have the live stream broadcast for football uh, at the same time they're doing the football video board production or they could be doing a live stream broadcast for soccer at the football field at the same time they're doing you know a live stream from the uh, basketball arena complex you know for a basketball game or something like that so um, you know with, with the infrastructure over IP it's seamless to basically you know just a few buttons and we're reconfigured to do a production from any venue. That's great. One of the things I really want to expand upon there is you talked about the Netgear switch being kind of the backbone of the system. 
And then you went on to talk about how you're using the NDI production environment and Dante for the audio and intercom. And all of those, the, the two different AV over IP protocols play well in that environment because of the flexibility that the Netgear switch gives you, right? Yes, that's exactly correct. I mean, you know, Netgear makes it simple. I mean, you know, we've been doing networking for a long time, but the Netgear AV line, you know, has the built-in presets, if you want to call it that, basically sure. that, that just allow us to, to configure the network quickly and efficiently to support all those AV over IP protocols seamlessly. That's great. And then we'll look at the control room again. Uh, you talked about the VizRT TriCaster systems and having multiple systems running. Uh, that, yep. again, brings up another great advantage of an NDI production environment is you have your NDI sources available to both of those TriCaster systems at any yep. given time, allowing your producers who are doing the live stream for the broadcast or the separate uh, channel going to the video display board, they can all pick and, pick, um, pick and choose the NDI sources and the fields and the stadiums or whatever it is that they want to broadcast, right? Yeah, that, that's exactly correct. And so kind of the more, you know, thing thing that we had to accomplish with that, say, so like at the football stadium venue, we have five cameras. Okay. And that is basically five SDI sources that we're converting to NDI. And, you know, part of the issue that you get into, especially the limitation of, you know, network bandwidth, maybe from the converter itself broadcasting that NDI stream to multiple destinations. So, you know, that's another layer of the Netgear backbone is that we've configured their network to support multicast. So we're, we're doing all of the NDI streams uh, via multicast that, which allows us to take the burden off of the converters and the TriCaster per se, and put it on the network to handle uh, getting all of the, NDI streams to the destinations that they, they, they need to be for the production. That's great. And when I looked at the equipment list and I looked at the picture here, uh, one of the things that has come up repeatedly throughout the month is just the breadth of PTZ cameras available that have NDI capabilities built into them. But right. in this workflow, you actually use the handheld camera from Panasonic using the CH350 available at each of the fields as well, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, so they have they have a total of eight of the Panasonic CX three fifty cameras, so they they can mix and match those cameras at any of the venues, depending on how many number of cameras they need. Typically, you know, a maximum of four to five at each venue. Um, and the real reason that we did that is because you know PTZs are great and wonderful, but in an educational environment, they want their children to get hands-on operation of the camera. So that was one of the the goals set forth, you know, one of the requirements set forth by Lakeside Schools is, you know, we want manned cameras. And, you know, of course, you know, Panasonic is pretty unmatched with, you know, that CX350 and their and their newer ENG style cameras. So absolutely. And it's interesting because you hear that as one of the requirements for the school district. And so many people that we do these case studies with and we hear from they're moving to the PTZ cameras to help eliminate some of the burden of the crew. But in an educational environment, the crew is one of the advantages of configuring a system like this. It's getting the kids to get their hands on the camera, to learn how to broadcast a sporting event, where to stand during certain parts of the play, uh, and how to get the different action and reaction to everything that's going on in the field. So, Chris, the fact that you work with a lot of different school districts, I'm sure you hear different demands like that come up all the time, right? Yeah, of course we do. I mean, you know, there's many schools that we work with where PTZs are a requirement and they work well. Um, but, you know, j just as you said, I mean, the the critical piece, you know, in an educational environment is making sure that the students are, are getting hands-on, you know, real-world uh, experience with this broadcast equipment. And so being able to man a camera and run that camera is, is a critical piece of that. 
That's awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for sharing this installation and case study with us uh, with the Lakeside School District. Um, before we let you go, we are talking a lot about NDI technology. And one of the things that I'm asking all of our guests is really why you use NDI and you lean on that technology in some of the installations that you're working on. What are some of the features that you like? What are the, some of the problems that it handles? Um, what are you excited about as you see this technology being used more and more often? Well, I think the big thing with NDI is, um, you know, it provides a, you know, video over IP solution that is really unmatched in what you can do with it at the cost. Right. So right. that's the big thing. And then, and then on top of that, um, you know, the using production systems like TriCaster, you know, NDI integrates seamlessly with that, you know, and I think the big thing that we see with a lot of clients is they're always wanting to do more with less. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, how can we save money? How can we, you know, streamline our workflow? How can we automate things? How can we, you know, that, that type you know, questions are what we're getting all the time from our clients. So basically NDI really lets us do a lot of that because, you know, everyone for the most part has an existing network infrastructure. And, and, and as long as we're, you know, you know, at a low number of NDI sources on the network, for the most part, it's plug and play on any network. And so, you know, it, it really saves costs on infrastructure. And then, you know, with the consolidated, uh, IP backbone, like we were talking about with being able to handle not only our video, our audio, our control, our internet, everything that we need across that network. Um, it, it allows us to do things with automation that we couldn't do otherwise, where if the signals were all discrete, you know, across, you know, coaxes or audio lines or things like that. So um, I think that's where NDI has really been a big deal for us to, to just really get creative with, um, the workflows that we design for, for our clients and uh, the, the solutions that we offer. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the big advantages for our audience when you work with a boutique integrator like TFS Broadcast, uh, getting the creativity to the workflows and finding the right products, the right technology and the right applications to address your production needs. Um, are really what the experience from a company like TF Broadcast, TFS Broadcast can bring to the table. <laughs> um, if you would like to learn more, you can reach out to Chris and his team at TFS Broadcast at thefieldshop.com. Uh, number is 866-400-4535, uh, located in Arkansas. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.